Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Starting with the exercise of Iqbal's message to youth for my students of grade 9. Question number 1 is, how is the youth standard bearer of a nation? And your answer must be, according to Iqbal, the youth is a standard bearer of a nation as he relied on the physical and spiritual powers of the youth. They are energetic both physically and spiritually. If their energy is channelized in proper direction, it can bring sea change in the social, political and economic fabric of the nation. Keeping this in view, Iqbal focused on the creative energy of the youth in his poetry. Question number two is, according to Iqbal, how can the youth change themselves? According to Iqbal, the youth can change themselves into Marde Momin, Mujahid, Shaheen, an explorer, an adventurer and seer whose aim is going higher and deeper like eagle to explore new world in unknown waters of creativity and intellectual pursuit. The motive of Iqbal's youth is to pursue his intellectual and spiritual goals and then continue his journey beyond these goals. Question number three is, read the third paragraph and write down the key idea. Know thyself and success will be thine is the key idea of the paragraph. It means that if man becomes emperor of himself, then he can lead the world in his own direction. Only such a man can find out with his sagacity the pearl of future for the coming generation. Your question number four is, what is main idea of a lesson? The main idea of the lesson is that youth is a symbol of hope and future of the nation. If young generation is ready to contribute to the progress and prosperity of the Ummah, the day is not far off when the whole Muslim community will rise as mighty power which no nation of the world will be able to subdue. Question number 5 is, according to Iqbal, the youth should not confine to material achievement. Express your views. And your answer is, according to Iqbal, the youth shouldn't confine themselves to material achievement and enjoyment of material luxuries and comforts, which are temporary and short-lived. Your answer is, the remaining answer, the life of Iqbal's youth must not be static, but it should be dynamic. It must be the name of continuous struggle and to go beyond the stars and enjoy the creative journey of exploration, discovery, inventions and innovations. The world which he creates with his efforts is the real world that belong to him only. And then you must give reference of that couplet which is written in your book. Vahi jaha hai tera, jisko tu kare paida. Ye sang khasht nahi jo teri nigaah mein hai. Dear student, this is all about the exercise of Iqbal's message to youth. If I need to explain anything else, please write in your comments. Do write your comments so that I must know that you are watching the, these lectures and taking advantage of them. Kindly don't forget to like and subscribe my channel as well. It will be a great encouragement for me. Thank you so much.